The expedition was financed by one of America's richest men. The expedition was financed by one of America's richest men. Her story rivals the story told in The Revenant. If you thought Leonardo DiCaprio's character in The Revenant was tough stuff, you haven't met Marie Dorian. He may have killed bears and wrecked havoc with his own hands after a near-fatal experience, but Dorian did it all and then some, while toting children with her. As the adage goes, Ginger Rogers did everything Fred Astaire did, except backwards and in high heels. Six years after Native American legendary badass Sacagawea fearlessly led white explorers west, Marie Dorian helped her husband lead fur trappers through the wintry Wild West. And when all the men died, she and her children kept going. She and her children successfully navigated the winter wilderness. When spring came, they set out once again, this time on foot, but got caught in a surprise blizzard. The children's feet were bleeding and they were too debilitated to go on, so Marie chose to burrow a hole and line it with fur. She placed her sons inside and ventured out on her own to find help. She was found, dogged and partially snow-blind, by the Walla Walla tribe. Finally, she was reunited with a Fort Astoria group who relocated her and her children to Fort Okanogan in present-day Washington. She walked 250 miles in 53 days through horrible weather conditions. Faced with a camp full of corpses, Marie and her children set out for civilization and refuge in the dead of winter. After almost 10 days of traveling, their expedition was halted by the deep mountain snows. Marie built a shelter of wood and animal skins, but shortly thereafter, the family ran out of food. Marie was forced to kill their two horses, whose meat they subsisted upon for 53 days. She left her camp on a mission, and when she returned, everyone was dead. When Marie reached her destination three days later, she discovered that her husband's party had been ambushed and slaughtered. One of the men, Giles Leclerc, was still alive and wounded. So Marie strapped him to a horse and guided the animal back to the base camp. Despite Marie's best efforts, Leclerc perished en route. But what happened next was even more horrible. Upon arriving back at the base camp, Marie found that the inhabitants there had also been murdered, mutilated, and scalped. She was pregnant throughout her ordeal and gave birth under harrowing circumstances. In addition to being responsible for her two existing children, Marie had an especially daunting trial to contend with during the expedition. She was eight months pregnant. As her time drew near, the members of her party finally came to their senses and gave her a horse to use, and in December of 1811, she gave birth to her third child. After the birth, the group apparently considered killing and cooking Marie's horse for dinner, as they were all starving. But under the circumstances, they ultimately, if perhaps grudgingly, voted not to. She was the only woman on the expedition and had two young sons to care for. She was the only woman on the expedition and had two young sons to care for. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.